Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best running shoes for wide feet. Starting at number 5. ALTRA Men's. Trail running shoes strive to strike a balance between allowing runners to feel the shifting ground beneath their feet and protecting those feet from the sharp rocks and other hazards. The Ultra Lone Peak 8 skews more responsive than protective, with a modest 25mm of midsole cushioning and no rock plate to keep hard points from poking through. That thinner layer of protection, however, creates an unparalleled responsiveness that resonated strongly with our trail running wear testers. I would describe it as the feeling of running barefoot on the beach, but in the frigid winter terrain of Pennsylvania, one tester said. This shoe really lets a foot be a foot. I think my pinky toes started smoking and filed their taxes for the first time. The upper is characteristically ultra, roomy and comfortable, especially in the toe box, but also durable. It's breathable, as well, though that may not always be an advantage testers found themselves turning to winter socks in cool weather. The one gripe we heard from multiple testers was about the outsole. While the Lone Peak 8's chevron-shaped lugs performed well in loose, dry terrain, they didn't weren't as successful when the weather turned sour. Coming at number 4. Hoka 1-1. Tempo runs can be among the most demanding challenges you'll face while training. They wear you down by design, so you come back stronger after you recover. The Hoka Mach 6 is a perfect shoe for pushing yourself, helping you break barriers without breaking down your legs in the process. A 2024 Runner's World Shoe Award winner, the modern Mach is thicker, bouncier and lighter than its predecessor, providing more cushioning at touchdown, more energy return at toe-off, and a quicker sensation between steps. The secret is Hoka's supercritical cushioning, which is more porous than traditional ethylene vinyl acetate EVA, for a lighter, more responsive midsole. We wanted to highlight the Mach 6 for runners with wide feet because the new design features a more accommodating design, according to our W wear testers. While it runs narrow, Hoka makes the shoe in wide, 2E, sizes as well, so everyone can appreciate the shoe's new and improved design. At number 3. LTRA Men's Paradigm. Designed with the help of two-time Olympian Kara Goucher, the Ultra Paradigm 7 helps you pound out long runs without damaging your legs. It starts with 30mm of Ultra's Ego Max cushioning foam, which is soft enough to provide protection from impact forces, but also light, so they won't weigh your legs down around mile 15. Like nearly all of Ultra's shoes, the Paradigm 7 is a zero-drop shoe, so it features the same amount of padding under the forefoot as it does under the heel. This creates a more natural, minimalist feel, closer to running barefoot. It's also an acquired taste, if you switch from a standard running shoe, it takes time to adjust to a flat cushion. Those who push themselves too hard, too fast, may end up injuring themselves. Once you adjust, though, the shoes are well padded and supportive. Many of our testers lauded the shoe's comfort during long runs thanks to Ultra's stabilizing guide rails, which keep your foot stable by nudging it back into neutral alignment when you overpronate. The Paradigm 7's flat profile and extra support, combined with a comfortable upper and roomy toe box, inspired confidence in our testers as they ran over uneven terrain. Number 2 of my list ASICS GT1000 The ASICS GT1012 is one of the few great shoes that starts at $100. While its flight foam midsole has gotten softer in recent iterations, the GT1012 adds a revised engineered mesh upper with an upturned heel counter, which makes it easier to slide your heel into the shoe. A mostly neutral shoe, the GT1012 has an external heel counter and high-density foam beneath the arch to gently guide your foot through its stride. Though the shoe isn't quite as soft as our other picks, it's still fairly plush and relatively light 9.5 Oz for men's size 9 and 8.3 ounces for a women's size 8. It's a price-conscious shoe that feels comfy, but won't weigh you down on tempos and long runs. Like the Gelcayano, ASICS dropped a new and slightly pricier version of this shoe, the GT1013, in June, 2024. The new edition features a totally redesigned midsole, outsole, and upper. 
We'll update this piece with thoughts on the new shoe once we've been able to gather feedback from the running community. And number 1. ASICS Men's Gel. ASICS Legacy Stability Shoe has always been a friend to runners with wide feet. The most widely available model right now, the Gel Kayano 30, feels a touch sportier underfoot while maintaining the plush ride the shoe is known for. Getting a full makeover for its 30th anniversary, the Gel Kayano 30 gained 4mm of midsole cushioning for a whopping 40mm at the heel and 30mm in the forefoot. ASICS also widened the stance of the shoe to stabilize its taller platform. The result is a plush ride that one where tester described as phenomenal underfoot. In the past, our testers have criticized ASICS shoes for feeling too stiff or blocky underfoot. The Gel Kayano 30 fights that reputation by adding a larger crash pad and a layer of energetic medial foam beneath your arch, which creates smoother transitions and adds stability. An engineered mesh upper with a substantial but comfortable heel counter round out a sure-footed ride. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.